How do you folks get someone to stay in church for an hour and a half? Well, it's the spirit that keeps them in for an hour and a half at St. Bridget's. We have a wonderful choir which helps to uh, develop that wonderful spirit in there and the communion of the people together. We have a wonderful, wonderful congregation and we all seem to help and support one another. Ah, so you don't just go to Mass. This is, correct me if I'm wrong. You don't just go to Mass to just sit and watch or go to the celebration to just sit and watch and take it all in. What I'm hearing you say, and correct me if I'm wrong, that people participate in some kind of way? Yes, we do. How? Well, most of all parts of the Mass we participate because you always have, uh, we have song, and then there's prayers which we pray together, and then there's uh, something that we call the sign of peace, mm -hmm. where we individually go around the church and hug, kiss, or shake hands with our brothers and sisters and welcome them and knowing that we're doing what Christ asked us to do to love our brothers. Hmm. The sign of peace. I've been to churches, and is that where everybody says something like, my peace I give unto you, or Christ's peace I give unto you? You know, that's amazing that that would happen at your church. I've been to churches where you turn next to the person and you attempt to give them this so-called sign of peace, and they frown at you, or they wince, or they move away. You mean your church doesn't have anything like that? Uh, no, we have a great sign of peace in our church, in fact. We have the, the congregation gets up and move around all over the church. Mm -hmm. And there's a, a song being sung at that time, which even makes the spirit more alive. And everyone's happy and, and shaking hands and smiling and greeting one another. Sounds like your church is a family. Uh, everybody goes there and knows each other, or can anybody just go in and participate in this mass? Well, anyone is welcome. Any and all are welcome, but no, I can't say that everyone knows one another. We have about 800 people usually at the 1030 service, and uh, no, I can't say that we all know one another, but predominantly we have a, a great, um, what should I call, uh, we have lots of organizations within the church. Mm -hmm. And within those organizations, we have a lot of the people that come to our services that join these organizations, so we can call those families. And each of those individuals know someone within that group or another group or another organization within the church. So it's which like calls, it's which is called an extended family. It's like extended. That's what I was facing saying. I'm sure brothers and sisters in Africa can relate to that. Then the mass or this celebration <coughs> is composed of prayer, song, a joining together, uh, giving the sign of peace. And the feast is what you're saying. The feast, and most importantly, the word. We mustn't forget that the word is being uh, read and preached or taught what to word the congregation. Is this? The gospel. What gospel is this? The gospel of Jesus Christ. Something about Jesus Christ is being taught to. Yeah, from the Bible. That's the Christian religious book. Yes. You see. Why would people come to a celebration to hear something from the Bible or something about Christ. It might be their need. I can't say why all of them for me. Mm -hmm. I go for my need and I need to hear the word of the Lord. It keeps keeps my life balanced. Does one have to be Christian or Catholic, I think it's called, just to come to this Absolutely. celebration? No. All are welcome. They don't charge you anything at the door? or <laughs> No, I don't think any church charges you at the door. Oh, I've been to some places in the South that uh, they used to have black people in a certain section of the church and they used to be charged and charged, to, enter a church? charged to enter the church or sit down. That's why a lot of folks uh, throughout the world still don't go to church because they were treated so well.
the Mass is really a prayer and worship service. It means a great body of people, much like the spirit of the African community. Our set form of conducting our ceremony, called Rite, R-I-T-E, and our group of Rite, used for public worship, called Liturgy, hold much symbolic meaning to we of African descent. We know what sacrifice is. Hence, blacks tend to be more fully understanding of the concept of what we call the holy sacrifice of the Mass. Central to this worship is the Holy Eucharist, which means communion. Communion in other Christian churches is a memorial to the Last Supper. We have the real thing. As Jesus said, do this in memory of me. So does the priest in changing the wine and bread into the body and blood of Christ. Sounds strange, doesn't it? But seek and ye shall find. The Mass lasts from 15 minutes to an hour and a half to two hours. On the average, it is 30 to 45 minutes, depending on where the service liturgy is held. The continual standing and kneeling signifies what we consider important or are holy parts in the service. The Latin which was once heard in the church was the then practical innovation of the African Pope, St. Victor I. Latin then was as much used as English is today or Swahili or Bantu or Hausa. Those funny looking clothes, vestments they're called, the priest wears at mass are what Jesus and his apostles, later bishops, wore every day. To keep the Sabbath, the church only insists you go once a week. It is sometimes required to hear mass on special or holy days of obligation. Some of these you already know as holidays, such as Christmas or Easter. To meet your daily schedule, you may go at any time mass is sung from 5.30 a.m. Sunday mornings to throughout the day in many cities. And if you prefer ancient tradition, even early Saturday evenings worldwide. For those wishing more Holy Spirit in their services or Mass, we literally have it, always have, since the original Pentecost with the Apostles. It's called Charismatic Renewal. Look into our Pentecostal movement. Our service does not depend on a preacher's personality. We don't lock you into three hours. You don't have to show yourself before the congregation. We don't throw church fashion shows. You don't have to dress to be seen. Rags are beautiful. Just come, and if you don't have anything to give, don't. We don't want you to get into God per se. You commune with him. Let God get into you, or let go and let God, as the saying goes. We want you. We need you. You can belong. This Christian church, Catholic, universal on earth, with the kingdom of God afterward, is one big family. Good God, I got to tell you, you should be one of mine. All you have to do is get trust. Practice every day, we can show the way. You should be one of mine. Communion of souls, uniting with Christ and sharing actively in his physical death and resurrection was initiated by Jesus himself. As he pointed out, he came to fulfill the law. Most um, in order to get something out of the Eucharist, and you folks all know that you are part of the Eucharist. One minister about two years ago was required that you have to bring something with you. You just can't sit out there and pious mumblings or legitimate prayer. Most of Christian dogma can be summed up in the following, which is called the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father. God from God, light from light, 
true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men, and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he was born of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he has worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. upon this rock for this segment. Remember, in anything you do, or with any message you receive, first discern the spirit. How? First pray always, it's effective and it's free. Love God. In the end, only you will be weighed in the balance. Only you can answer the questions we hope we've raised here. We'll see you next time, and let the rock upon which he builds be you. God bless. For music program or transcript information, write us. Please send a self-addressed stamp envelope to RP Communications Corporation, Box 1862, Hollywood, 90028. That's Box 1862, Hollywood, California, USA, 90028. Presentation of Upon This Rock is made possible by this and other stations. A Two Roses production in conjunction with Archangel Company. <laughs>